You can get into a window in the crooked bone by ziplining across from the grumbling Garelev, the collector says. They point to another derelict tavern in front of you, otherwise known as Bunny's Kingdom. The collector hesitates, gesturing to a small crowd of bandits on the cobblestone street blocking your path. Hi, I'm Jed Kim, and today we're going to be continuing Gloomhaven Buttons and Bugs with our Silent Knife, and we're going to be moving on to Scenario 2. So in Scenario 2, we are going to be fighting three enemies. We have a bandit guard and two archers. So of course, we're going to have to take into consideration that they are going to have ranged effects. Also, we are now able to add items. So I added the Venomous Fang, which during your melee attack, you can add poison. And then also Battle Cap Helm. During an enemy's attack, treat its uh, plus sign on the die. Attack modifier as if it's the zero attack modifier. So I do want to give one clarification um that in the last video i was giving the bandit guard its shield um too early i was giving it to him before their turn and so um i did put that in the klingon subtitles so this is a reminder if you do happen to see any rules mistakes please let me know in the comments below with a timestamp. and if i get some i will add them to the klingon subtitles also I would really appreciate if you like this type of content to remember to like and subscribe. This is a new channel and so um, the likes and subscribes really help get the videos out there. I really appreciate it. And without out of the way, let's get started. So I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do Smoke Bomb and Venom Shiv with an initiative of 12. So let's go ahead and roll for the Bandit Guard it is they're gonna go at 70 and the archers are gonna go at 64 so we will definitely go first which is not a surprise so first we are going to we're gonna move four so we're gonna go one two three and then i can control an enemy so we are going to move that guard onto the trap which will cause them to take one damage so they are now down to six so now we can go to our top side attack which is a three plus plus a poison so we are going to roll for our attack modifier we don't get a bonus so it's going to be the zero i'm going to move this down while i remember uh so they're going to take three because they do not have any defense and take a poison so they are going to be down to three with a poison and now we can flip to our other side and it is now going to be the archer's turn now since they are adjacent they are going to get disadvantaged so we're going to roll twice for um the second monster and they'll get the lower of their two rolls so the first one's a negative, so we know they're gonna get that, but if roll twice, oh no, maybe I shouldn't roll twice because now I'm knocking things around. All right, so since it was the negative, they are going to get the negative one on their attack. So they're gonna hit me for two since I have no shield. So I am down to nine. The other archer cannot move and cannot reach us, so he can, he's just gonna stay there. And the bandit guard is going to move two so he'll go one two he can't reach me yet so that is the end of their turn and so now we can figure out what we want to do for our next turn okay so i think for this turn we are going to do thief's knack and quick reflexes so we're going to go at 23. so let's go ahead and roll for initiative let's start with the bandit guard they are going to go at 30, and the archers are going to stay at 64 and not move this turn again. Okay, but we are still going first because we are 23. So I'm going to use quick reflexes first, and I am going to go uh, 1, 2, because unfortunately they were going to move into my space, or close enough to hit me anyway, um, even if I don't get rid of this archer. But we're going to hope we get rid of the archer. We're going to attack him first. Oh, the archers did attack last round, so that gets moved here. 
Okay, so we're attacking this archer with poison, so we will hit for an extra hit. And oh man, so thank goodness we had that because it was negative one, so that's going to negate it. It's three damage, so this archer is gone. So we did this one. So now we're going to hit with our Thief's Knack, which is a three. We're going to target that Bandit Guard. And it's before their turn, so they don't have that shield yet. Yay. So we're going to get hit them for three. We're going to move this down since we did just do an attack. If I can get it in, it's there it goes. Okay, so let's roll for the attack. Oh, no, it's a miss. Oh. Oh no! Such a bummer! <sighs> okay, so that's a miss. We'll move our cube down again. And now it is the uh, guard's turn. And they're going to move for two, which they don't have to do because we're right here. They're going to attack. That's a negative. So it, it is negative there, so they do not hit. We'll move this down, and then it is the archer's turn. He can't move, and we are more than three away. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we missed. Ah, Okay, let's flip our cards to their B sides and figure out what we want to do for the next round. Okay, so I think we're going to do throwing knives and singled out. Or single out, so that is an initiative of 11. And for the bandit guard initiative, it is, they're going to go at 50. And the archer is going to go at 31. And, oh, they're going to move for the first time. And we're going to go first. So for this one, we're going to attack for three. And we're going to use our um, dark element for an extra two. And we're going to attack this bandit guard. That's a five. Man, if we had gotten that other one, we possibly could have taken him out this round. All right. So let's roll for it. It's the plus. So it's plus one. That is six damage. Minus their one shield. That's five. Because they do have an inherent shield. Okay. And you know what? Let's add, use our venomous fang to add one poison to them. Actually, let's not. Let's not. Let's save that for our archer. Although we might rest before that, we'll use it, we'll use it. So we're gonna use our throwing knives to negate the next uh, source of damage we would suffer. And this is gonna go into our discard pile. And it is now the archer's turn. They are gonna move one spot. So they'll just move here, still not in range, so they can't do anything. The bandit guard will go next and they are a move one attack two so let's roll for the modifier and that's a zero so since we have this we won't take any damage so we can put this in our discard pile move their cube down we'll move our cube down and whew, okay <laughs> we're gonna have to rest soon so let's take care of this bandit so we're going to be going at 38. The bandits are going to go at 30. Yikes. Ah, you will get that shield. Okay, and the archer is going to be at 31. Wow, we're going to go last. Okay, is what it is. So the guard is going to attack for one, and it is going to be one, so we will take one damage. So we are down to eight. We'll move the cube, and so they will have shield now. Next up, the archer is going to move. They will move one here. And now we're one, two, three. Oh, we're still four. So they cannot attack. But now it is our turn. Ugh. So we have, we're have we going to have attack of three plus the two by using the dark element there. So base of five plus the poison. But now they do have two shields. All right, so let's go ahead and roll. It's the minus. Of course it is. But let's see. But that is still okay. That is enough to take out the guard. Okay, so we are still going to do the bottom of special mixture, which will allow us to move three and a poison range. You know what, though? We're going to rest 
So we're gonna get our venomous fang back. So I think we are actually just gonna move and get out of range of the archer. Then we can do a long attack without much worry or long uh, rest without much worry. So let's go one, two, three there. That ends our turn. This card is now lost, which is a bummer right before a long rest, but that's what we're gonna do for our next turn. So we are gonna decide which card we wanna get rid of and we will go at initiative 99. Okay, so we are gonna get rid of Thief's Knack. We will gain two health back. So we are up to 10 and we only have two cards. So there's that. I think we're gonna go with the initiative of 64. Let's see what theirs is. Okay, cool. It is 16. So they will definitely go first and they are going to move one and we are still just barely out of range. Oh, that one was a range of two. So now they went, they can't attack. I think I did not move my attack modifier last time. So let's move that one down. And okay, so we are gonna use this one to move one, two, three, four. So right up there. Now that's an attack two, or move of two, but we are not moving. So we are going to attack three. So let's roll that modifier. So it is going to be three. So they are now down to four. And we are gonna use our um, Venomous Fang, which we got back when we rested, to also add a poison. So we'll flip our cards over. So we are gonna go at 38, and the Archer is gonna go at 31. So that's a move one, attack two at a range of three. So they will go first. And since they are currently at a disadvantage, he's gonna move one back and take his shot of two. So it is, oh my gosh, it's a times two. Oh man, that would hit us for four, but we are going to use our bottle cap helm so we can reduce that down to two. So we are at eight. We will move their cube down. And so now we are going to do an attack of two at a range, um, up to two targets at a range of three. And we do have our poison. Let's hope for that modifier. <laughs> I mean, a good one. <gasps> Shut up. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, because that was two plus one plus one. That's four. They have no shield. Oh my gosh, I was really worried. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's cool. I am not going to lie because we were going to have to rest again and that was going to be really scary. And when I did this one, I completely forgot that I would lose the card. I would not have done it if I had known I was going to lose the card. Okay, things I need to remember for next time. <laughs> okay, let's read the rest of the scenario conclusion. Oh man, that was lucky. Okay. Standing on the other side of the street before the towering grumbling Garilov, the collector clears their throat. Honestly, it's probably best to avoid Button entirely. Very eccentric. I recommend sneaking in through a crack in the wall. If you have the bruiser, play scenario four, barging in. Others, play scenario three, in the walls. Whew. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was really lucky. That was lucky. I mean, I think we would have been okay. I think we would have been okay because the other cards... If for that one, I would have just moved up the one. So that way we would have had advantage again for our next turn. And I would have discarded this one. Oh, yeah, gone last because he would have could have moved again and then hit it for three. So we probably still would have been okay. But I think we need to plan better for next time. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, that was scenario two. Make sure that you hit that bell button so that you know when we play scenario three. Till next time, bye-bye.